Hey, KubeCon. What a crowd. Wow. So I'm going to talk to you about validating and defaulting complex um, custom resources with Open Policy Agent. So roughly a year ago, Tim Hawken was mentioning that CRDs are becoming the API. And if you were at the Contributor Summit, there was also some talks about that. So once we become the API, or the, we, we built the API with CRDs, we need to also talk much more about the user experience of this API. And one of the key points of user experience, one of the key things that we need to, uh, to do is get validation and defaulting in to help users build, like, have less issues. So there is open API v3 schemas. And you can do some declarative defaulting and validation there. But there's some use cases that go beyond that, especially if you work with a lot of CRDs. So one of the use cases is in validation, once you go into dynamic values. So once you have values that cannot be declared just on creation of the CRD, but they change maybe on time, over time, maybe based on context, that are either kept inside or outside of Kubernetes. And in the defaulting area, it's pretty much the same. Once you go into defaulting dynamic, based on dynamic data or based on context like namespaces and users, then you will need an admission controller. And there's one more use case in the defaulting that you, if you want to default metadata, if you want to default some labels because you have label selectors in your controller, then you will need to, to use an admission controller too. So I brought a use case from Giant Swarm to, to show you a bit uh, more how that could look like, what, what could be the use cases. So imagine there is an, a CRD that lets users install apps. And you want to make it as easy to use as possible. So we could let the user fill out the full YAML. But we could also just set, let them say, Here's a, uh, uh, I want a, uh, an app from a certain catalog. I want Prometheus from the Giant Swarm catalog. And that's it. And then based on context and what we know about business logic in this company, we might be able to help um, get that done. Right? So the first thing that we can do is um, we can default the config. And uh, that arrow should point to the namespace. So just imagine it pointing to the namespace. Based on dev1, maybe we know this team is using a certain namespace within a certain cluster. We can default that config. Maybe we know that because of the developer um, environment, the development environment, we can put a certain config in Prometheus. Maybe there's a base domain that we can default. So all these things we can, we can do with, um, with the mutation webhook. On the um, defaulting uh, validation side, we can default, uh, we can validate and say, is this catalog even existing? Uh, and we can give feedback of what catalogs are existing if the, if the user chose a catalog that is not there. And then we can go on and say, is this app actually in this catalog? And if they gave a version, maybe we could validate that too. But if they didn't, maybe we just default the latest stable version. And this will change over time. But we would assume that if a user installs it today, they might want to have a stable, non-CVE-inflicted version. So we default this latest stable. And you might remember in the beginning, I talked about open policy agent. So why shouldn't you just build your own admission controllers? Why shouldn't you just use Go, Python, Bash, whatever you want? to build your own admission controller. And the reason is um, no code. Not the Kelsey Hightower type, but you, need to, you, you, you just need to write regular rules. Um, in the first uh, lightning talk, you saw some regular uh, file. It's very easy to write and read. And you have a single ag agent implementing all these rules. So the vision would be to have open policy agent or gatekeeper, it's admission controller implementation currently, as a default in most distributions or installers out there. So we, as extenders of Kubernetes, or someone who builds an ingress controller, could say, together with my CRD, together with my controller, I also roll out all the validation and defaulting rules that make it easy to use out of the box. So if that sounds cool to you, just hit me up. We have a booth. I'm on social. And I'm one of the co-chairs of Sick Late Night. So, See you. Thanks.